Hey everybody out there in YouTube land, this is Jen and you're not happy. Grumpy over here is not happy with me. And you might, you guys might be a little grumpy at Jen too because the movie we're reviewing for you today is Polaroid. So if you want to, yeah, that, yeah, you forgot about it. We did too. If you want to hear our thoughts on Polaroid, flash around. Look at this photograph. Every time I do it makes me laugh. It finally came out after uh, it's been ten thousand years, and we can finally watch a crappy PG thirteen horror movie. Yeah, this was talked about what two thousand seventeen? Like, like sixteen, I think it was supposed to come out. Yeah, it got shelved for two years. Yeah, it did, and and it was supposed to come out last year, and then problems, and mainly then, Weinstein related problems. Yeah, you know, raping women, you know, can fuck you up in other ways as well. I just like to point out that they put this movie on the shelf, but they let Children of the Corn come out last year. So they legitimately probably thought that Children of the Corn was a better movie. Yeah, The that Runaway. That, He's talking about The Runaway. Yeah, people. that says a lot about the quality of this film, which is average at best. Yeah, it's one of those movies, guys, so you know this isn't probably going to be a very long video. This is one of those movies that technically, except I do have even some technical issues, but it's, and the story's real bad, but it's not a Slender Man situation no. where it's almost so bad, it's just you can have a lot of fun ripping it. Yeah, this is it, just boring. This is a movie when, the reason we picked this movie is one, I had forgotten about it till I heard my good friend Monty G talk about it and I was like, oh yeah, I remember that. And I thought, you know what, this will be a good day. I'm not in the best frame of mind. And I thought to myself, I just want something very basic. You know, something that's not complex. It's not going to tax little Jane's brain. This, I got my wish, but you know what they say, be careful what you wish for, because that is this biggest movie's detriment, is the it's... fact that it's just so, you call every fuck, and, and you don't have to be, yeah, Christian and I are hardcore horror fans. You don't have to be, and you don't have to be movie dumbest. There's no surprises at all the, in this movie. This is, uh, the song that kept playing through my head was the police's song Murder by Numbers, because that's exactly what this movie is. One, two, three, it's as easy to learn as your. This is like basic elementary. This is the kind of movie that you might could show to your younger kids. It's PG thirteen, so yeah. yeah and yeah. even then, I don't. I this feel this movie. I almost could say could be a fucking like PG. Like this does not at all feel like a PG thirteen. You know, like no. it, Escape Room was harder core than this. Yeah, it it was. You do get a few intense scenes toward the end, and I guess the backstory when you. I, I will give it this. The only part of this movie that actually had me kind of where I was giving a damn is when they find out why the Polaroid is doing what the Polaroid is doing. You know, the backstory. Yeah, that, that was, was legitimately interesting. Okay. And the actress play, one of the actresses, she's a really good character actress. Yeah. So that was a good bright light of the thing. But this movie, God, it's just, you just, you just want to be challenged, and you're not. You're not challenged. This movie has absolutely nothing that we haven't seen done a few times. And some of the ideas they play around with, had they gone in different routes, could have been a very interesting uh, yeah. story. No. Uh, that, the, when we get into spoilers, because we're going to be getting there pretty soon, guys, because there's not that much to say. Uh, the, 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 when we find out why all this is happening, had they taken the story they tell us in the back, story and made a movie about that it could have been really have good been wildly interesting yeah do you have I'm, i know you have a lot okay of i guess we should address this because he is making the new child's play movie oh, i yeah. actually will say like the directing, like the cinematography and shot composition, made. actually is pretty solid. Like, it does not look like a super low-budget horror movie like The Runaway did. This actually does look like a movie I could believe being in, like, theaters and stuff. This actually was shot and directed pretty well, and I yeah. will, so, I, I, which kind of makes me sad, because I was just like, oh, this may, gives me even less hope for Child's Play than I already had, but yeah. no, this, th that, that, I, that is my only real positive to the movie, is, yeah, the shot, it is actually directed pretty well. Yeah. Yeah, and one of my biggest uh, 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 complaints about this movie is the acting, and I don't like to pick on actors as a general rule, but when they're delivering di uh, lines of dialogue, it is like every actor took like a massive amount of, uh, of um, 
of Valium, basically. Like They're very monotone. Even when the scene calls for a little bit of emotion, they say things that are just very monotone. Like, well, oh my god, what are you doing? That because kind of there's thing. There's nothing interesting to say with it. Like, the, the, like there's nothing at all interesting with this premise. It's Final Destination That's what I was just about mixed to say. with like, I want to say mixed with Fatal Frame, but Fatal Frame's actually cool and interesting, and this is just really goddamn generic. Like, yeah, it is, and I love Final Destination destination like if the, but this movie kind of reminded me of final destination but take out all the all the cool things about final destination yeah. there's no interesting kill scenes and whatever you guys' opinions on final destination the characters while you know they were pretty standard horror tropes were at least they injected some life and yeah. made them likable and, and Tony fucking Todd none of these characters our main care our main character is probably the worst part of this movie because they Blandy because they make all this inter they act like she has this hit, super dark hidden past and shit. And when you find out what her past was, it's the most mundane goddamn thing. And they keep building up like, Ooh, what's behind her scarf? What's with her scarf? They drop her, like she loses her scarf in one scene halfway through the movie and it never gets mentioned again. Like it bugs me. With, like our main character is probably the worst part of this movie. Like it's act, like writing right. She is so uninteresting and bland. She's just there yeah. to be the main character. And pretty much everybody else is too. It's it's just basically what this is. And another thing that really got on my nerves is like I know, like I'm like an old dinosaur because I grew up in the 80s so I'm familiar with Polaroids but I think that, you know, they, they have modern teens in this and like they, it came up three or four different times in the movies when anyone would take a picture with this Polaroid camera like, oh it's broken, the picture doesn't. I I think you guys would be smart well, enough. Like, like it's that modern day Stranger Things is a th that, and they had a whole episode centered around like Polaroid cameras and shit. You and that's like one of the biggest shows on Netflix. So you would figure it would go. Hell, Polaroid cameras are coming back because hipsters yeah. and people like you feeling nostalgic for the '80s. That's the one positive I can give this movie because I I am somewhat of a camera bug, shutter bug. I enjoy taking photographs and stuff. And the one thing that I can say positive about this movie is I want to go look on eBay eBay and maybe get a Polaroid because uh, you know I think it might be fun to do some mm. some pictures and stuff. That's the one good thing that this movie did. But the movie itself is it, it's not even bad. Like it's it's. it's this but is you're what, gonna be bored. This is, the most bored. this is the most mundane, just blah movie I think we've probably done this year. Like, there's nothing interesting to say about it. It's a generic PG-13 uh, horror movie. And I would say it as that, it's probably... It's not as bad as, like, Slenderman no. was... But there is a lot, like, I, like you can say what you will about horror being PG-13, but there, it can be done well, like Escape Room, arguably, and it can be done bad like this, that's just so bland and generic. And all the kills are awful. Yeah, all the kills well, are Well, they have one kind of cool kill at the end of the movie. Well, towards the end of the movie, but it, again, it's affected and kind of ruined because it's PG-13 and you can't show anything. Yeah, exactly. It's just what the story, and the story basically is, is that this one girl with a tragic past, and she, you know, her father's dead, and they don't ever exactly go in why, except you know there's something, and you know they had a relationship, and it was, you know. Um, she, she's a generic a token main character. Oh, I have a tragic past. My dad's dead. Yeah, I mean, and she kind of feels, and again, and you've seen this done, not just in horror, but in every kind of movie, she feels guilty for her dad's death. It's you know? so and, fucking tropey. And then she's kind of an outcast at school. She has a few friends, but she's different because she has a dead dad. And she has a crush on this one kid. She takes a, tries to take a picture, but he catches her and all that. And then, th then there this other love story that goes on at the beginning of it oh, where God. he's I, just there to die. I forgot about that guy. Yeah. That plot line went nowhere. Yeah, very early on, every time you take a picture of somebody with this camera, they're going to die. They're basically There's a marked, funny thing in the picture. They're basically marked for death. Yeah, and then you find out later what had happened was with this camera it, back in the way back in the 80s, there was this teacher and his wife, and they had a daughter 
her and she was a little different and a little slow and they gave her a camera thinking it might help her a Polaroid camera and the kid took the camera everywhere with her and then she fi uh, she she takes it to school and that just ostracizes her more at the kids and the kids pick on her and then they trick her to go out late at night one night and they do horrific things taking pictures of the Polaroid and her dad was a teacher at school and he vows revenge on the kids that 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 did all these disgusting things to his daughter and she was so humiliated that the daughter kills herself yeah. and that's actually it's that's actually a it, pretty solid setup for yeah, an idea for a movie yeah. it's pretty generic and we've seen it done before but, but it's, a right solid, hands, it's a solid enough basis for a story it would if you had just told me that premise it would have perked my interest yeah, a little not gonna yeah, lie but the movie doesn't do anything interesting with that well yeah. it does one kind of interesting thing with it but it's so predictable you know it's coming yeah you do and 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 these and then that's in the past and in the future this girl with her dead dad she takes a polar she takes a friend a, a, a picture of a group of her friends and they all start dying and like there's this I just I just looked to Christian when this one scene came up when they're figuring out that all their friends are dying and it has something to do with the camera and one of the characters says well let's just destroy the picture if we destroy the picture everything will go sets the picture on fire and one of the girls that was in the picture with him her arm spontaneously combusts on fire which is a cool idea it actually. just wasn't executed yeah it's actually a cool idea because whatever happens to the the picture like happens to them so if you burn it the person with the fire touches them in the picture they'll start burning if you stab at the picture blah 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 rip it crush it up but the movie doesn't do enough inter like that tr idea is introduced early on and then not used again until the very end last like last 15 minutes of the movie yeah like you would think that they would have done something more interesting with that I almost feel what would be kind of cooler is if you did this kind of peeping Tom style where it's a slasher movie yeah. about a, a with the serial killer who has this and his killing method is taking a picture of you and then doing cut up shit to the picture yeah that could be kind of fun and cool yeah but no we, since we have a bunch of teenagers doing this we don't get anything and interesting a cool movie. and a crappy PG-13 yeah and they're like I said there is a twist with the whole teacher and the and the daughter and all of that which and you'll I, see coming yeah you kind of do and I get do you have anything else to say I don't have I, I, I literally have nothing to say about this movie other than it's generic bland and don't watch it um do you have uh, what would your letter grade be like uh C minus because the directing's solid enough. But yeah, it's, D, D plus, D plus. Uh, I'll give it a C minus. I but I wouldn't say I wouldn't say waste your time. You're just wasting your time. There's not even it's not even a fun movie to get mad at. It's just boom, ba ba boom, ba ba boom. I mean nothing. I mean just I was just like the the one there was the one scene that I told you about that it was the only thing that I was like okay this is kind of an interesting story and then as soon as we go off of that I was just like. Mm. Yeah, it's a very yeah. dull, it's a very dull movie. Yeah, it really is. So with all that out of the way, I can't recommend uh, Polaroid, and I guess you can't yeah. recommend Polaroid. But if you anyone cares, I would just recommend seeing the spoilers if you have any interest because it's it, it'll save time and you can go find a better movie. So with all that booze and ghouls, if for whatever reason you're not going to listen to your buddy Christian, now it's time for the fun part. <laughs> Okay. Oh, uh, this movie fucking blew. Um, okay, so you remember that twist thing that I mentioned about? Well, okay, so we find out these kids play ba This also reminds me a little bit of Scooby-Doo, because these are like, except they don't, well, they have a dog, but, you know, it's basically kind of like a Scooby-Doo episode where they piece together about this little girl and stuff, and they hear the story from the mother. The mother of the little girl and the father uh, uh, got it was a killed. serial killer. Yeah, was a killed, the, killed the class. What? They think that's what it is. This movie does. This movie has this. This twist has the same problem the fucking Elm Street remake of does. Of uh, they introduce. Oh no! They like did th this one thing happened. 
But then right after it, they they like literally the next scene is them saying, no, that didn't happen at all. And instead of the, and this is how it really happened. So instead of the audience having any build up or tension and and trying to figure out, well, wonder what really happened. The movie just spells it out to you the next scene, so you have no interest. And basically, what happens is uh, they the kids get it from the mother that 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 the father was doing, you know, the just fatherly thing and taking vengeance out on these kids that you know did all these horrible things to. His daughter causing her to commit suicide only and there and, and he killed all of them except for one right and shocker it's the police of this chief of this small town was the kid that was doing it and when they finally confront the police chief he goes that's not what really but that's not what really happened guys what had happened is we saw the picture these horrible pictures that were taken of this little girl weren't taken by us but were taken by her father and we were gonna take these pictures to the police and try to help this little girl we were she was our friend and that's what that that's what happened and it was actually the father doing all these fucked up things to his daughter dun 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 you saw that coming from a mile away yeah basically and 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 they have to fight and it's a ghost the guy's in the camera because he died <laughs> holding the polaroid which they don't explain how the fuck that works in a supernatural thing the, he's also holding a knife so does his spirit also go into that knife and whenever guess... somebody sta like cuts a god damn head of lettuce with it. Like, it's, it's so unexplained and uninteresting. Also, the ghost design, I should have mentioned this earlier, is really bla- It's just a fucking mummy that can go invisible, basically. It doesn't make any sense based off the way the dude died. He just got shot a lot, and now, oh, he's a mummy that- goes invisible. Why? And they go Scooby-Doo again and they figure out that even though this camera, if it takes a picture of you, you're fucked, this camera also works like a camera and the pictures at it, it's like uh, like an old Polaroid. Light and, and, and wetness and anything like that will affect the picture and they figure out that if they can take a picture of the ghost daddy, they can kill him. Kind of like Elm Street, basically. Kinda, basically they do an Elm Street of dragging him into the real world only he can already do that, so whatever. Yeah. Um, and take a picture of him and it, and destroying the picture, which I which I called. Why don't you do that? Like forty minutes into the movie, he's like, why don't you do that? That'd be kind of cool, I guess. Yeah. Which, yeah, granted, the movie did, but by that point, I was so disinterested and bored with the movie, it didn't I, it didn't work for me. Plus, the kill they get for the ghost is just so generic and boring. It's a PG thirteen. Yeah, movie. I guess, but still, there's good PG thirteen horror movie. Like, say what you will, Escape Room was better than this. A lot of, hell, most of the PG-13 horror movies we did last year were better than this. I would say Friend Request was better than this. A little bit, I guess. Um, it, it's just, it's just very, but my biggest praise, uh, my, not biggest praise, but my biggest con for this movie is just that it's just boom, 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 you know, everything. And I wanted, like today, I didn't want anything that was, I was going to have to think too deep or too heavy, but Jesus Christ, I, I needed something, like a little bit. I didn't, you know, we called every scene before it happened mm -hmm. and it just... It wasn't very good, guys. I just say that I felt like it was a big waste of time. I wouldn't buy, even out of morbid curiosity, I just... But our friend Bonnie said for a PG-13, it wasn't too bad, so take what... You, like everything else, you got to take it with a grain of salt, but I just feel like this is just going to waste your time. Yeah. There's better movies out there, even if it's not not that particularly good. It'd still probably be better than this. Yeah. And I can see, I believe this will be on Netflix. It might yeah, I, already be on yeah, Netflix. Yeah, I heard it was like, I think it's like how Shudder's doing it. Is the, it's a DVD, but the street, the streaming rights are on Netflix, so it's going to be a Netflix original soon, I guess. Yeah, so not that, worth it. Yeah, it's really not worth it. It's just, it's just bland and. Any, um, I can tell you this now. Any other Netflix original horror movies better than this? Yeah, yeah. Even like Open House and stuff, which isn't very good, is better than this. Yeah, yeah. There, there's just better things to do with your time, people. So big thumbs down for Polaroid. The only good thing I can say is I think I am gonna go now look on eBay and see if I can't find me a cool Polaroid. Who knows? Maybe I'll be lucky enough, and whoever had the Polaroid for me was a serial killer. Cool. That would be cool. I need to do a search on eBay. So that's what I'll be. Doing. Doing, I might, and then of course I'll just be looking for serial care uh, paraphernalia. Yeah. Just, it's what I like to do in my free time. So with all that out of the way, booze and ghouls. Hopefully next time we'll be coming at you with a better movie. And uh, I'm going to say what I always say: if you do happen to like the contents of this channel and you haven't hit that subscriber button yet, please hit that subscriber button because we appreciate every subscriber we get. And with that, we wish you a good evening, a good day, and we'll talk to you guys real soon. Smile, guys. Bye. Mm.